So uh, today is February 4th, 2014, and uh, I thought it'd be a great idea to start a, a new channel strictly dedicated to stories, because I'm chock full of stories. Those of you who have known me for quite some time, you know, I'm full of stories, I always have a story, play this game with friends called the story game, and uh, <clears throat> go around in a circle, give each other a subject. does not matter what subject you give me, I always have a story to match it. So, whether it's, you know skateboards or fish or lemons I always have a story to correlate with the subject it's, just, it's very entertaining um, so I figured today this day in history so February 4th 2004 believe it or not 10 years ago today Mark Zuckerberg um, co-founded Facebook in his Harvard dorm room and is that, is that weird 10 years of Facebook I've been a member since I was seven but, uh, all right, so story. So I'll do this thing. I'll try my hardest to, to tell a story every single day. I always have stories, and they're always entertaining. Sometimes, I guess. But, uh, I don't know, people always like to hear them. So I want to say what happened today. So what I'm going to do is every time I do a video every day, I'll do a story. So the subject matter. So I'll pick from a hat. I'll write a bunch of random things down. Pick randomly from a hat and then unfold it. So, as if, for instance, let's say I happen to put this piece of paper and a hat off to the side by this part of my TV over there. Pick it out, look at it, ha ha ha, and show. So today's story is about coffee, right? Because specifically, what happened today. So today, <laughs> I was uh typing. I was typing one of my clairvoyant yarn stories as I do every day, and um. I have coffee every day as well. I'm a caffeine addict, and I have the bladder the size of a hamster's, so I have to pee a lot as well. So I make a cup of coffee. Cup is in like a mug. So like we're talking mug of coffee, real man's coffee. So sometimes I'll have it black. Sometimes I'll have it with coffee mate. Depends on the day, honestly. So I looked in the fridge. We're out of coffee mate. I was crying. We were out of soy milk. I was crying because I love soy milk. And uh, my mom has this coconut milk but I always get screamed at for using her coconut milk so didn't touch that but I saw that um there was this black bottle and it said Irish cream in the fridge and I was like oh we've had Irish cream coffee mate before it must be a new bottle must be special edition something like that because I remember I didn't see it yesterday so I take the Irish cream out I pour it in my cup now really okay mug of coffee right mug so that much is coffee and then that part would be cream that part's probably about eight ounces worth of Irish cream. So I didn't know that it was alcoholic until <laughs> I was typing and I had to go to the bathroom. So I bolted out of my seat from my desk, as we are now. And um, all of a sudden I'm just staring and just the room just started to spin. And I'm like, why the hell? I'm like, why is it so dizzy? Why am I so dizzy right now? And I was like, something's not right. So... I hobble into the bathroom, go to the bathroom. I hobble downstairs, check the bottle that's in the fridge, and I was like, all right, this made the coffee taste weird, but I was like, I'm not going to waste a cup of coffee. That's sacrilege. Why, why would I ever waste a cup of coffee? Yo, Cup of Joe is awesome. So I check, and uh saying like 17% alcohol on the Irish cream, and I was like, oh, my God. It's 2 in the afternoon. I'm drunk. I, I, I'm a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. I don't like drinking to begin with. I hate being drunk. So to be drunk two two thirty this afternoon it was just horrible. So I tell my mom and I was like, Mom, I think I think I, I had too much Irish cream. I didn't know there was alcohol in it. And she's laughing and I'm laughing and you know, many cups of water later it was great. So I tell my brother, because it was his, turns out as my mom tells me, and he starts to die of laughter. Now you need to realize I sent him a text and he reads the text at a red light. He's on his way to the doctor's and he was telling me he laughed for a solid three minutes worth of driving. And then he was peeing his pants when he got home. And, uh, yeah, so note to self, lesson learned, read the bottle before pouring said liquid into your coffee. It was, it was something. So, uh, yeah, this is my new story adventure. And, uh, stay now, brahis.